Hey, 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 Taurus, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, June 25th to the 26th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, a information is in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys, Taurus. I'm going to pull four cards here and then get a channeled message from Spirit for you. Ooh, Taurus. All right, let me lower that a little. What's going on Thursday into Friday for Taurus? All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. We have the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Star Card. The Star Card. All right, so let's see what Spirit has for you today, Taurus, okay? Notice what ails you, Taurus, they're saying. Okay. You need to approach things differently right now. They're saying, look, look at what's ailing you, right? And approach it differently from a different angle than you normally would. <laughs> it's like, okay, they just said, well... If you're used to putting ice on something, put heat on it. Like something like that, right? That's just an example. Yeah, something needs to be switched up. I almost get this feng shui feeling, to tell you the truth. If you guys are into feng shui, or if you're curious about feng shui, I would try it. Try looking up feng shui, say, in your living room. I do know you have to know the location of where you're, you're at, right? Because certain things need to, to, to face south and north and et cetera, et cetera. So try a little bit of that, even a small change of energy within a room can change your world in ways that you can't even imagine, they're saying. So think of decisions right now as energetic ones. I mean, everything's energy, but I mean, we don't normally sit there and look at a problem. Um, and when I say problem, it could be anything, everyday, everyday shit, right? Uh, we don't normally look at problems, everyday shit from an energetic standpoint. It's like, okay, we've got a problem, let's fix it, which is fine solution oriented right but we have to understand and begin to understand that it is energy and how we approach problems from an energetic standpoint i feel is changing so okay all right taurus that was interesting all right so we have the star card here card of aquarius you could have that in your chart somebody you're dealing with could have this in their chart but this is talking about healing right this is also talking about being seen. Okay. Okay. For some of you, a wish is about to be born. They just said. <laughs> okay. I said, now they just showed me Barbara Streisand. Wasn't she in A Star is Born? I don't even know if I saw that movie, but I know the title because I've heard of it. But so something's about to be born. If you're into stardom, then a star is about to be born. But so, and I feel like it's more of a wish. I mean, that could be a wish for you, but it's like something's about to be birthed that is going to expand. 
faster than you might think. And even though it's a pentacle, I feel like it's going to expand little by little, but faster than you may even think it is. But I think that's more due to you losing track of time. Time as, you know, it is an illusion anyway. It's like you'll get so caught up in whatever this wish is that that just falls away from you. So before you know it, it's like you're already there. It's like, how did I get here, right? And with the Eight of Pentacles across from the Three of Wands, yeah, this is something that you've been working on, something that you're passionate about. It could have to do with I'm getting moving from the three of wands. It could have to do with something at a distance, right? But it is a wish for you. You could be getting a message regarding this. Tell me about the star card here. Let's see. Page of swords. Somebody's been watching you. Taurus, somebody's been watching you. Uh-oh. But I think this is a good thing. Four of swords. That's interesting. Ooh, oh my God, I just got the surge of energy of my upper chakras. Okay, so the four of swords here. It's like somebody's watching you, okay? And it has to do with this wish, okay? And being seen, they're watching you. You don't know they're watching you and they're actually meditating on what to do possibly uh, it's like they're healing i'm not sure because we have two healing cards here let me clarify this clarify this four of swords what do you mean by this this is interesting what do you mean by this wow all right, this is a sun card. This is, it could be a Leo that's actually going to make you this offer with the Page of Pentacles here. But they're, I feel like they're preying on it. Like this decision, whatever it is, I do feel it's business more than love, but it could be both. So again, it's like shining I'm getting from the sun. Ooh. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on for the Eight of Pentacles. What's going on? Whoops. For the Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Clarity and truth will come to you soon regarding this, Taurus. The Three of Wands. Let's see. The Lovers. Okay. So this is work and it will lead to love. I feel like that's maybe something that you've been waiting for, so to speak. I don't think you've been just twiddling your thumbs and waiting, but it's like you feel it. You know it's there. It's coming. Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. Let's clarify this one more time. Five of Cups. And the Eight of Swords. This may be something that you were caught up in your head about going over and over and over again. I do feel you let it go and that's when it came in. That's when it comes in. Okay. I feel like you're over this energy. I almost, I feel like this is past energy. The Eight and the Five here. Past energy. If it's not, then you will be. You will be setting yourself free from this um, imprisonment here. What is your advice for Taurus? What is your advice for Taurus? What is your advice for Taurus? Interesting. Interesting energy. Ooh. Move on to more peaceful waters. They're wanting you to find peace, which is interesting because the Four of Swords is here, although I do feel that's from the other person. But something's at a distance. Um move i'm just getting moved so if you may be moving soon or in the future yep distance again world card you could be dealing with a taurus leo scorpio or aquarius here or capricorn with saturn right a new cycle is beginning you're ending a cycle Woof. 
Justice card. Listen to your intuition and three of swords. Healing. Okay. So the advice is if you have not healed, right, with this eight of swords and five of cups, please implement this healing. Twin flame card. Um, but this is more like this is karmic balance. So I feel like good karma is coming your way. Some good shit, man. So listen to your intuition. Let that guide you forward. I feel like, yeah, you're going to be changing up something. Your, your whole atmosphere is going to change. Six of Pentacles. Now, I feel like this is past energy. This is somebody giving to two people. This is breadcrumbing. Let's see what's behind this. Yeah, two of wands. So, all right, Taurus, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. They just reminded me because you have more than one six here. Um, pay attention to the spiritual rather than the material. Okay, Taurus, you have a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow.